What's up everybody? Today we're gonna to do a real quick video on this radio right here. This is the TID radio or TID radio, TDH8. This is the updated version that TID radio sent me um, after the uh, harmonic problems of the, the first version. Um, I'm not gonna revisit everything about this radio because uh, everything that I did test in my first video, um, I was happy with everything except for the uh, harmonic problems that this radio demonstrated. Uh, so we're gonna take a quick look uh, over at the bench and see if the harmonics have been fixed in this radio. Um, I will put a link to the first video in the um, description below. And uh, over there you'll see that the one of the few radios that I've tested, the battery actually performs to spec. Um, so I was happy with the battery. The uh, Synad uh, was good. And uh, like I say, now let's go take a look and see if these harmonics have been fixed. All right, well, let's take a quick look here. We're going to uh, do our harmonic test. I've got a 40 dB attenuator. Uh, in line with a 10 dB attenuator, and uh, obviously that gives us a total of 50 dB of attenuation. Um, I actually uh, tested this earlier just to double check to make sure that uh, this is 50 dB, um, and it's pretty much right on the nose, so that's good. So we will put this here into the radio. Let's turn it on. Welcome. And then we will hook up to our signal spectrum analyzer here. Okay, so we are on 146.50 and we are currently on low power. So let's take a look and see where we are on the spectrum analyzer for harmonics. All right, hey, that's looking pretty good. Uh, looks like our fundamental frequency, we're getting about three watts out of the radio on low power. And uh, look at that, the second and third harmonics are now negative 75 dBC, negative 65 dBC for the third harmonic, and then uh, 96 to 100 dBC for the fourth and fifth. So way down from uh, our original findings on the first radio. Um, as you can see, the 25 microwatt line is up there. So not only are the harmonics below the 40 dB requirement, um, they're also below the 25 uh, microwatt line. I guess I should say that, that the harmonics are greater than 40 dB down from the carrier, from the fundamental frequency and also on that secondary requirement below the 25 microwatt line. So that's very exciting. Let's, uh, let's try medium power. On medium power, we're getting about 5.3 watts out, and uh, those second and third harmonics are still looking great, uh, somewhere between minus 75 to 80 dB on the second harmonic and minus 69 dB uh, change on the third harmonic, and then once again, the fourth and fifth are uh, almost 100 dB down uh, from the, the carrier or the fundamental frequency. So on medium power, we have another excellent uh, pass here. Let's look at high power. All right, we're getting about 9.8 watts out, uh, right at about the 10 watt uh, rating. And once again, that second and third harmonic, 80 dBC, down from the fundamental frequency. So uh, TID Radio really uh, did a phenomenal job of cleaning this radio up. Very, very happy to see because uh, there was a lot of positives in this radio that I liked. Um, as I stated earlier, the battery actually meets uh, the rating that they put on it. Um, there's, you know, the Synad passed. Um, I like the way this radio feels in the in my hand. I I never had some of the issues that other people did. Um, as far as the radio, uh, there were some people concerned that they might have been getting RF burns or something off of the contacts. I never had that on mine, uh, and I have not experienced it on this one. Uh, 
either. All right. So basically to summarize, uh, I think this is one of my favorite uh, handheld radios that is uh, in the sub $100 range um, actually you can get them for significantly less than that I think uh, on Amazon I'll put some links uh, below in the description um, one more thing that I wanted to touch on real quick and I will put up a graphic to make this a little bit easier to see but um, it's looking to me like in the serial number of these radios they have a date code uh, the original radio that I had that had the harmonic problems starts off with 2305 uh, and then the remainder of the serial number. And the fixed radio uh, starts off with 2310. Um, so I'm assuming uh, that this would be an indication that this radio was probably manufactured in May of this year, and this one was manufactured in October and is now uh, affixed. I don't have a date right off uh, the top of my head here as to when these uh, radios became clean so that you could look for that in your serial number, but I'll see if I can find some information and if I do I'll put it in the description. If anybody else has that information, uh, feel free to comment below and, uh, and include that. So uh, that all being said, um, thank you so much for being here and watching the video. Uh, appreciate every single one of you. Um, please like and subscribe um, if you feel that that would be a cool thing to do, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.